What's up you guys, it's been Sandy. And first of all, I wanted to say, sorry for not posting recently. Those of you who follow me on Instagram know that recently I got married. And if you have ever planned a wedding, you know that it is not the easiest thing to do and it does take a whole lot of time and energy out of you. So um, I apologize for not posting and I will be posting a lot of great content in the weeks to come. So today, I wanted to actually talk about a very important topic, which is the importance of consistently training. And consistently training means that you are constantly training on a weekly basis. So not just like whenever you feel like it, not whenever it's convenient, but actually having a schedule for practicing. The first reason why this is important is the obvious one muscle memory. You are constantly training, you're on your feet, you are doing your moves, and you become lighter, you become faster, quicker, um, smoother. Uh, your, your dancing becomes better with constant training. So um, by providing yourself with a consistent training schedule, you will be consistently improving your dancing, whether it feels like it or not. The second reason is by being in an environment where you can constantly create, you start to stimulate your brain, stimulate your own creativity, and you have the ability to consistently create. So with that said, it's very important that we find a practice spot that we can get creative in. So the first thing I wanna to talk to you guys about is actually finding that creative space. Not every space is, uh, I would say, the greatest creative space. Um, sometimes you go to practice spots and it feels like jams, everyone's trying to like battle each other, in, um, which is definitely okay, you do need that. You do need a place where you can go all out and, uh, you know, try to try to impress people um, but you also need the space to get creative one reason that i really enjoyed practicing with my crew is we really enjoy you know growing together and bouncing ideas back and forth and we all trust each other we tend to sometimes do things that look stupid or, or ugly and but that's okay because we're we're growing it's the process it's not about like doing a crazy move every single time it's about growth so what i want to discuss with you guys is actually finding that creative space and you guys can do that in a lot of different ways um, growing up it was a constant struggle we had spots that would come and go and sometimes uh, we would have months where we we didn't really have a consistent space um, but we always found something and sometimes we got in trouble sometimes we got kicked out of places so i want to actually give you guys some tips on finding that actual space so the first place, which is probably the easiest, is a park. Parks are great places. They're places that are public. They allow people to come, so you are welcome to go there. Sometimes parks have smooth floors, sometimes they have stages. You just have to kind of search around and find a park near you that you could practice. If you have linoleum like this, you could bring that anywhere you like and practice. That Me and my friends used to take a little roll on our shoulder and we go random places and we would practice and that was uh, an amazing option but if you don't have this you just got to find somewhere with somewhat of a smooth floor that you could practice on okay the second place is probably less uh, likely to happen but I'm gonna tell you guys anyways is parking garages parking garages sometimes have really smooth floors they are really great for practicing some of them are so smooth you can do power moves on them um, but the downside to this is you technically are not supposed to be in there so if you go there during the day you most likely will not be able to do there oftentimes at nighttime no one's gonna say anything the third place is probably my favorite is a community center. Community centers often have floors that are gonna be great for dancing and they are there for you. If you guys go in there and you know ask nicely and you say maybe you're gonna provide an outlet for other kids to come dance and you're welcoming them in and maybe you could even teach some of the kids there some moves, they're gonna be more than happy to have you guys there. Again, ask around, not every community center is gonna give you a, a for sure yes, some are busy, some got you know other things they're worried about. So um, ask around and find a community center near you. The fourth place is actually where I'm at right now, which is a garage. Garages are amazing places to practice, especially if your house doesn't have a lot of space. Garages, you could just move the cars, clean it up a little bit, and boom, you got a practice spot. For me, this is such a treasure because I, I grew up dancing in a garage and uh, it kind of brings back memories of me and my friends just, you know, literally spending hours 
throwing ideas back and forth, messing around and coming up with new materials. So um, I love practicing in the garage. It's just like a very homey feeling. For me, it just kind of brings me back to my roots. The last place that I have to say, which I actually did a video on this before, is at your school. Schools would rather see you at school, you know, being productive, getting creative, than, you know, out on the streets causing trouble. So a lot of times schools will let you practice there, but you have to get permission. Me and my friends back in the day, we would just do it and not get permission and we would get in trouble. So that's why you need to go and ask a teacher, uh, the principal. If you get the principal's permission, boom, you, you're, you're in. Um, but just talk to your teachers. Maybe start a club at your school. Start a club at your college. Um, these are free practice spots for you to do this. They're not going to charge you anything. Um, but you have to get permission. Don't just go there and practice because for one, you know, you could be disrupting a class or, or bothering um, a teacher that's working. You know, you know, little things like that. Maybe you're, you just you start dancing on where the janitor just cleaned. You know, little things like that will kind of disrespect the school and they won't want you there. So make sure you ask get permission make sure you know just be polite be a nice person about it you can't walk around with an, an entitled attitude um, and, you know expect people to hand things out to you so make sure you guys stay tuned for more great content make sure you guys subscribe uh, check out some of my other videos and also find a consistent practice spot and start practicing consistently all right I'll talk to you guys soon take care peace